Hello everyone, this is April with Craft Knife Chronicles and I'm here to share my latest original design with you. It's an angler fish. I built this project entirely out of chipboard and Graphic 45's Voyage Beneath the Sea paper collection. I thought we'd start by just taking a spin around the project and then we'll come in and I'll talk about some of the details. Now the project is 15 inches long from the head to the end of the tail and about 10 and a half inches tall to the top of the periscope. And then from fin tip to fin tip it measures 10 inches. Now that we've completed our circle tour, let's zoom in and look at some of the elements in more detail. So we'll start here on the side, kind of looking up at the top a little so we can see the top fins. There's three of them and here we can see two. The, the left one on the front, the yellow one, and then there's a central one in blue and there's another yellow one on the other side. And then on each side of the fish, there's a porthole. Now these portholes are about a half inch deep. They have a gear around the edges to form a frame for a Tim Holtz pocket watch. And inside of the pocket watch is an image from the Voyage Beneath the Sea paper collection. And then right in front of that porthole, you can see one of the side fins. Those fins stick out about four inches from the body. And now we're looking at the bottom of the fish. The fish is actually standing on four Tim Holtz pulley wheels. Because this paper collection has a steampunk theme, I wanted to have a steampunk theme for the fish as well. And one of the big ways to do that was to incorporate the wheels. And then in between the wheels on the bottom is another fin. Now let's move forward and take a side view of the head. So now we're taking a closer look at the side view of the head. You can see the fish has its jaws open wide looking for prey. And I'll zoom in even closer so we can look at some of the elements here. Now the jaws are held open by a disc of chipboard with a Tim Holtz faucet knob on the outside. And the teeth are made out of eighth inch dowel that I've painted to coordinate with the paper collection. I've zoomed in so we can have a close look at the eye. It's composed of several layers of both chipboard and pattern paper with a gear die to make the actual outline of the eye. And then to top it all off, I used a Tim Holtz monocle that's held on by a chain near the center of his forehead. Now let's come back out a little bit so we can look at the lantern that is suspended in front of the fish. Coming out of the top of his forehead is a piece of tubing that holds up a Tim Holtz mini lantern that provides one of the most striking features of an angler fish, the light that is suspended in front of its body. 
That tube is just a piece of tubing that comes from the plumbing department of a hardware store and inside is the wiring and a piece of florist wire to help it keep that curved shape. And then I painted it to coordinate with the paper line. And now I'll just spin the project a little bit so you can see that whole mouth full of teeth. There are 12 teeth on the top and 13 teeth on the bottom. Now let's move up a little so we can take a look at the periscope and the light bulbs that are up on top. So in the center there's a periscope that, I don't know if I can catch it in the light just right, there's an eyeball that's staring out from the center there. And then on either side of the periscope there's a little light bulb in a tube. And those are Tim Holtz mini light bulbs that stand about an inch or so tall. And here behind the light bulbs you get an idea of the three dimensionality of that top fin. Now we'll move and look at the left side of the fish. Now the left side of the fish matches the right side that we looked at to begin with, with another pocket watch in a porthole. The only thing different on this side is that that porthole is held on with magnets. And let me remove it so you can see where the battery pack for the light is located. So with the porthole removed you can see that's where the little battery pack is for the little mini lantern. Now we'll take another little spin and look at the tail. So the tail has five sections as you can see and one is just a regular cylinder and most of them are sections of a cone and then the middle piece has a kind of a special slant to it just so that the tail can flip up a little bit and give it a little action look. And then I'll turn it here so that we can look at the end where I've cut some scallops out. And then in the center there, I added a chipboard gear that I cut with a Tim Holtz gear die. And now let's see if I can change the camera angle a little bit so you can get more of an idea of the three-dimensionality of it by looking at a downward angle. And now we're looking down at it from, oh, kind of a 45 degree angle, I would say, and I'll give it a couple of little turns here, and I think that will help you get a better idea of the three-dimensionality of the project. And see how the portholes stick out and how the top fins, they have three sections to them there. Here you can see the periscope centered with the light bulbs on either side and the two lights with their monocles and how the tubing comes out for the mini lantern on the front and the chain that holds the monocles is right there behind where that tubing comes out. And then there's one last special thing about the fish, and that is that there is a hidden compartment inside, and a mini album is stored in that. So the tail section is just held on by four magnets, so I'll remove the tail. And now you can see the end of the mini album peeking out. So I'll change the camera focus again, and we'll take a tour of that mini album. This is the little mini album that goes inside of the angler fish. It's four and a half by six and a half by about an inch and a half um, thick. 
This is what it looks like on the outside. There's some charms that are dangling from chains. The back is just coordinating paper. The little charms here were made from the chipboard, some of the chipboard elements, um, and then a couple of just little gears that were added on. Here on the front, we have a pocket that is this little mermaid riding on a fish, and then there's some tags inside. A little tag, a couple little tags, and then this is a little envelope with a little tag inside of here. And those just get tucked behind the mermaid here. And then when we open it, there are uh, four double-sided pages, but here on the front, there's a pocket with a tag in it and then that pocket actually is attached such that uh, more tags or pictures could be, go behind. And then on the first page this is a 4 by 6 journaling card. I've just cut a couple of slits here by the fish so that some tags could slide in behind him. Just kind of stuck behind his nose there. And then this first page is actually a long pocket. A 4x6 photo could go on here, but right now it's just a double-sided tag. We flip it over, and in this band that's, that's attached here, it's actually a pocket and there's some more little tags that fit inside, room for photos and journaling. On this page I used one of the um, pockets from the Tags and Pockets accessories and it has a, a tag that can pull out of the top. And then the pocket itself is a, another pocket so that there's room to put some photos or journaling behind that as well. Now this is the middle spread here and on each of these pages these are flaps that open up. And on the outside of the flaps I've cut a slit so that a tag can fit in on either side. And then when we open it up, the two outside panels are just purely decorative, but here these elements have been attached just in their corners so tags or photos could go behind the slip behind there on both sides. And then this page has another one of the pockets from the Tags and Pockets with a tag inside of it. And it's been made into a pocket for several more tags or photos to go behind. And this is another one of those pockets. It's just a band across here with some tags that can fit in behind. And this page is another uh, large pocket with a large tag that could be a photo mat that fits inside of there. And then finally on the end, this is a 4x6 journaling card and I've just cut three slits here so that little tags could fit in and hide there. So that's the mini album for the anglerfish. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the anglerfish project 
and its little mini album. It was a lot of fun to design and create. And if you'd like to make either the fish or the mini album yourself, the construction videos will be posted to YouTube shortly. This is April with Craft Knife Chronicles. Thanks for watching and bye for now.